The death of 17-year-old Joseph Ray Ray Winston has left various neighborhood organizations intensifying their efforts to find solution to the gang problem. One out of seven kids at Roosevelt is homeless. People are very, very clear in some cases. I don't want my child going to that school. One of the things about the suburbs is we're nice. And I did a study of the word nice once. It's the, it comes from a Latin word meaning to ignore. And we are good at ignoring. And the original idea was simply like a one-day cleanup day. I knew a lot of people would come, but I, I didn't know how many. And, you know, I was more shocked than anybody when 1,500 people showed up. Everybody was kind of walking around with tears in their eyes because it, something had happened, you know, and that was kind of the start of it. I've never seen anything like it. Um, I hope more ch churches will emulate what South Lake's doing. Well, the school, they're the experts, they're the educational experts. They know what their needs are. Can we help fill the needs? She began a clothes closet where people could donate clothes and every morning kids could come in and basically take what they needed, no questions asked. There's a fear there that, you know, these church people are gonna come in evangelizing and trying to get all your, your kids and your staff uh, saved. The best way to convince people that you don't have an agenda is to not have an agenda. South Lake's approach is more of let me show you through the works, through my actions, what love really is. It turned out to be a lot more stuff off the field and on the field, which was, was hard. Day by day, it was very hard for me. I told him, Neil, they're not gonna care who you are until they know you care about them. You know, it's not about coaching there, see? It's about uh, mentoring and being a father and being a brother and being a parole officer. Suddenly Nike decides they're going to give these kids uniforms. And suddenly Nike decides they're going to uh, head up the effort to get an artificial turf put out there. Suddenly Nike just decides they want to be part of what's going on. I was so jacked, so excited. Have our kids, have our players get to play on a real field. This is a beautiful thing. This is putting your faith to work, putting legs to your faith. and. If there's a way to continue this, I want to be a part of it. I want to support it. It's a beautiful story, I think, of a church showing up just to support um, an underserved school.